Hi boys and girls. I hope you've been having a good day so far. It's time to read our story. And the book I chose for today is called Baby Bird's First Nest. And it's by Frank Ash. So what do we see on the cover of this book? All right, yes, we see Baby Bird and the first nest. What else? A little frog. Do we usually see frogs in a nest? Hmm. I've never seen a frog in a nest. We see the moonlight. Can we see some grass, some clouds, and a little, a few stars up in the sky? Well, let's see what happens. One night, baby bird rolled over in her sleep, tumbled out of her nest, and woke up with a thump. I remember when I was a little girl, I fell out of bed before, and that startled me when I woke up. Baby Bird wasn't hurt, but she was very frightened. Darkness loomed all around her and even the moon looked cold and scary. Mama, help me, she cried, but Mama was fast asleep. Sometimes scary when we're all alone. Did you see Mama way up in her nest? I didn't see her at first. She's way up there asleep. She doesn't know that Baby Bird fell out. Beneath Baby Bird's tree lived Little Frog. What are you croaking about? He asked. I fell out of my nest, Baby Bird said, flapping her tiny wings, and I can't get back. So she's so little still that even when she flaps her wings, she can't fly all the way up to her nest. Little Frog climbed out of the pond. I was going for a moonlight swim. Do you want to come along? I just want to go back to my mama and my nest, sniffed Baby Bird. Don't worry, your mama will find you in the morning, said Frog. The morning is a long way off, replied Baby Bird. What shall I do until then? Why not build your own nest, said Little Frog. I've never built a nest before, sighed Baby Bird. Neither have I, said Little Frog, but I'd be glad to help you. Do you think Baby Bird feels a little bit better that he's found a friend? I think so too, and Little Frog is being very kind to try to help Little Bird feel a little bit better. Let's see what happens next. So, Baby Bird and Little Frog set to work building a nest. They gathered twigs and pine needles to make the outside. Then, they lined the inside with birch bark and deer grass. They're cooperating nicely, aren't they? They're using good teamwork. When the nest was finished, Baby Bird hopped inside and chirped. It's beautiful and cozy too. With a skip and a jump, Little Frog flipped himself into the nest. Kind of scratchy for my taste, he croaked. Well, of course you think that. You're a frog, said Baby Bird. But it's perfect for me. Then she sighed with relief. My very first nest. So Baby Birds love to sit and sleep in a nest. It's perfect for them with their feathers. But do frogs have feathers? They don't, so their skin doesn't really like a, a scratchy nest the same way. 
but it's sweet that he tried. Look, look, his face doesn't look super happy though. <laughs> like, I don't know if I like this. <gasps> Baby bird snuggled down and soon began to feel sleepy. That little frog sat straight up. I hear paws, he croaked. Quick, follow me. The little frog leaped out of the nest and into the pond, kerplunk. So little frog knew when he heard paws, that meant danger might be coming and he should get back in the pond. Do you think a little bird can get in the pond? Let's see. Oh, there was danger. Baby bird looked up and saw a hungry raccoon. If I jump in the pond, I can't swim, she thought. So she scrambled out of her nest and fled in the opposite direction. Do you know what fled means? It means run. She was scampering in the, uh, away from the raccoon. Baby bird spied a low branch above her head. She crouched down, flapped her tiny wings, and hopped up onto the branch. Raccoon stood on his hind legs. Baby bird closed her eyes, trembling with fear, but Raccoon couldn't reach her. So that was a pretty big hop. When she tried really hard and flapped her tiny wings, she could hop that far. So that was good, wasn't it? Raccoon looked in the water instead and found a fish to eat. When he was gone, Little Frog swam ashore and went looking for Baby Bird. He looked up in the nest. It was empty. He looked behind the nest and even under the nest. Oh no, he croaked. Raccoon might have gotten Baby Bird. So look, Frog was so worried about his new friend. He didn't know what had happened. Where was, where was Little Frog? when Baby Bird learned she could hop. That's right, little, little Frog was in the pond, so he didn't see her hop up there. He doesn't know where she is. No, he didn't. I'm up here, Baby Bird said. How did you get up there, asked Little Frog. I hopped up, replied little Baby Bird. Well, if you can hop up there, you can hop back to your nest, said Little Frog. I can't hop that far, gasped Little Bird, Baby Bird. <laughs> so Little Frog's trying to figure it out for her. She's on that branch. He's thinking you might be able to do it. Let's see. Sure you can, said Little Frog, if you make it one hop at a time. Here, I'll show you. And he hopped to Baby Bird's perch. So Little Frog hopped right there next to Baby Bird. Now follow me, he said. And he hopped to a branch above her head. Hop, can you do that? Sure, replied Baby Bird. Good, said Little Frog, and he hopped up to the next higher branch. Little Frog hopped, and Baby Bird followed higher and higher all the way back to the nest. See, look, she's right there now, right by the nest. Mama, she cried, I'm home. Slowly, Mama Bird opened her eyes. Of course you are, my darling, she said with a smile. But what are you doing out there? So Mama Bear thinks Baby Bear's been up there all along. Mama Bear lifted Baby Bear, Baby, Mama Bird lifted Baby Bird into the nest. Mama, cried Baby Bird, I've had the most wonderful adventure. 
Yes, yes, Mama Bird yawned again. You can tell me all about it in the morning. Soon, Mama Bird was fast asleep. Your mama's nice, said Little Frog. Do you want to sleep in our nest tonight? Asked Baby Bird. Little Frog thought for a moment. Mm, too scratchy, he replied. So what are you gonna do now? Asked Baby Bird. I guess I'll finish that moonlight swim, said Little Frog. Get ready for the highest dive you ever saw. Whoa, do you think he's gonna dive from way up there in the in the tree? That would be a high dive. Let's see what happens. Oh, he did. <laughs> Thanks, I had fun, said Baby Bird. Me too, said Little Frog. Will I ever see you again? asked Baby Bird. I certainly hope so, croaked Little Frog and he dove into the night. Well, that was a nice story about friendship, wasn't it? Because when Little Bird fell out of the nest and was scared all by herself and didn't know what to do, Little Frog was her friend and eventually helped her figure out how to get back in her nest. And he helped her every step of the way so she knew she could do it. That's really sweet. Well, I've been seeing some birds out in my yard some, and I know as it's getting colder, it's harder for them to find seeds and things that they can eat. So I thought maybe this week we could make a bird feeder. Uh, maybe you have some things around your house and you can make one at your house too. Some t you might have bird seed at your house, and if you do, you might already put some seed out for your birds. Um, if not, um, we have sometimes used a cereal um, to, to string, put on a string, and you can do that one at a time, put the little cereals on a string and hang it out in a tree. We like doing that, and sometimes we'll put it in a tree that's right outside of our window so that we can watch and see, and sometimes we get to see birds come and nibble it, sometimes a squirrel might come and nibble it, and it's lots of fun. Well. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you back on Friday. Bye-bye.